Hello. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. Um, I'm Patty. Uh, we and I'm with my three best friends, and we are here. On Go again, Patty. <laughs> hey, we're gonna start again. So I'm Patty. We're here on behalf of Garnier USA. I have Alexis, Mariano, and Kat with us. And today what we're gonna do is we are good work. <laughs> I'm gonna stump the pros, Patty. We're very stump excited. Pros. We're stumping you right now. Stumped already. We're stumping Patty right now. <laughs> so the idea. <laughs> We're gonna answer some great color questions for you all. Okay. The idea is that you guys ask us questions and see if we have anything. If we can come up with the answer. I bet we can. I'm excited about our first question, girls. Yes. Ooh, Katanda, that's a question for you. OMG, put me on the spot. <laughs> so the question is from Stephanie Schneider. It says, I have thick wavy hair and I love what it does naturally. Will box hair dye make my hair straighter? Even when I got professional hair color, it led to some changes. So I, of course, I'm a curly girl. I'm super curly. I manipulated my curls a little bit today. Um, so they're normally curlier than this. But I um, color my hair. I have, I don't know, some grays um, that I want to cover. I don't normally shift too far from my natural color. No. But I do cover those. I call them sparkles. So I cover those sparkles up there. And my curls stay intact. So I have, of course, I've used so many different hair colors but my favorite is olea and that is our ods delivery system which is an oil-based hair color um and it was like the first oil-based hair color especially for like mass market so we're super proud of that but it's 60 percent oils there's uh virtually no like fragrance actually the fragrance is very pleasant and um, I use that. It keeps my curls nice and moisturized with oil. It keeps my curls intact. They don't um, like shift. Sometimes people feel like they're, they're going to lose their curls totally, or they feel like it's going to alter their curl pattern. But for me, my curls stay intact. So I would say um, it just depends on what you're doing with your hair and what products you're actually using. Um, if you're going lighter, a lot of times, even without curls, that can like break down the integrity of your hair to a certain extent, depending on how far you're shifting your shades. Um, but I think you'll be fine. And then you just want to follow up with like a good um, color care shampoo and conditioner or a shampoo and conditioner for curls. And one of my favorites is Curl Nourish. What do you guys think? Oh, agreed. Sounds like um, everything. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing worse than a sad curl, right? We yeah, exactly. Stringy curls. A limp curl, a sad curl. We don't want any of that. We want nice, fluffy curls. But it's nice, Kat, to hear a testimonial, especially because you have textured hair. So the fact that you can speak on that and be able to share the love that Olia can give you, I think, is amazing. So thank you for that. No now. problem. <laughs> so, our next so what question, do we have girls? next, guys? <laughs> Ooh, I'll read it for you guys. I'm getting married this fall and I've heard not to get hair colored right before to avoid mishaps. Give yourself the opportunity to fix. I get it and want to avoid that, but want to keep my hair bright for the big day. If I die a month before, do you have any recos? Hmm. Well, for me personally, I can take this one. I am like a hair color junkie and Patty actually colored my hair on a very strict schedule before my wedding that she tortured me with and it came out absolutely beautiful and she tortured me with because I say I'm, I always go to Patty and be like oh I want to color my hair this and I want to change it this way I want to do this she'd be like no let's focus what do you want your hair to look like for the big day and I knew what I had the exact color I wanted and then we just came to an agreement and every couple of weeks we did it if you do it a few weeks before you should be fine there's not going to be any issues whatsoever because you don't want to wait too long 
to not do your hair and then you have a huge regrowth and then basically you're going to have to like tag team that out and you have to do that again and then it's going to be maybe a little bit darker you're going to have some banding in there so you always want to keep a good schedule for your hair color what do you guys think i'm not a bride yeah. but i would <laughs> say it also gives you an opportunity to kind of like let it settle and then you know your eye gets used to it you get a chance to blow dry it and style it also if you have your hair trial then you're going to get to see it right before yeah definitely i agree with that that's a good one with your hair trial your hair yeah is colored you're going to get a chance to see what you're going to actually look like on the big day so i think that's a good that's good and what, what I hear from all that girls is being able to put yourself on a hair regimen, right? And work your way back from the date, Alexis. So I think that was a really smart idea for you and Patty as colors to be able to collaborate so that she looks amazing. I'm down with that. I think the other thing is not only just think about a couple months before wedding, I think it's a, a, a good frame is six months to kind of decide on what you're gonna look, you wanna look like and then that's your goal. And so you don't wiggle around and change your mind a lot. That way then you're really in a good frame on your wedding day. Yes. I think that's a that's a key, Patty, is you don't want to wiggle around. I've had situations where people, oh, I want another trial. I'm thinking about changing when we had everything set. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're only gonna confuse yourself. So I think you should just stick with what you want for the big day and no fluctuating. It's just like your flowers. You're not going to switch out your flowers at the last minute. So. Ooh, We're very right? true. Yeah. All right. All right. Next questions. Mm. Want me to read right. this one, girls? I recently dyed my hair back to black, my natural color. Do you have any tips if I want to dye my hair to a dark brown shade next? Mm. Great question, though. Mm. Awesome I think right away, shade selector to see what your options are. But let's see what your girls have as well as any other advice. I, I, this reminds me of when we did the tint back with Julia and Nikki, where she was blonde and went back to being black. The one thing to remember is you cannot lighten hair color with a hair color. So I think you need to... Be conservative because you have blonde underneath that, I'm assuming. So I think washing it, letting it, encouraging it to fade, and then going into doing a dark brown, but I wouldn't do it automatically like the next month because at your root, it will be dark brown, but this will be black. So yeah. the golden rule of hair color, hair color doesn't lighten hair color. And if you're colored it black, that's pretty dark. Nobody wants I, to um, root. Yeah, I'll speak to that because you guys know that I used to do a one and it's very dark, 1.0 and only. But then I decided, okay, maybe I want to go a little bit lighter, not too light. And I went with a dark brown, which is a level four. And all these guys were like, oh my God, cat, I'm going to have hot roots. And I'm like, oh my God, I will, but I can deal with the hot roots for a little bit. But I will say with Olea, it's like dark brown, the four is a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. So it wasn't that much of a difference. There was a difference and especially in the sunlight you could see, but um, like it faded out really nicely and now everything sort of blends in pretty well. So it, it, was, it was a little scary at first, even for me, but I yeah, ended yeah. up to saying, okay, I can deal with a hot root if I have a hot root. But it ended oh, up oh, how long have you been tra uh, transitioning though, Kat, just to put it in perspective now? So I started, well, I started transitioning, it's probably been over a year now. Yeah, yeah I remember when you did really that. long. Yeah, and so, committed. Yes. like if you think that I only had like this much root, all the rest was like jet black. Yep. So it took some time. It took some time to fade out a little bit and through the ends, it took some time. For me to get used to seeing like the roots slightly lighter um the good thing is my hair is curly so when you have curly hair you don't really see the root as much True. um so that helps but it did take some time so hair color is something that you can't just like if you're making a change like that 
you it's not going to be an immediate thing for you. you you're going to have to be patient it requires yeah. a lot of patience and you may not get the instant gratification that you're looking for because of that but it is you know that's the only way to do it you can't lighten it up with another color so and in the end that way of being patient the, the payoff is great exactly because I could have removed the color and removed the black out of my hair and then did it, you know, from root to end going darker or going to the lighter shade. But then I would have broken down the integrity of my hair and I wanted to keep healthy hair and not do that. I didn't want to dry it out. I didn't want to like um, alter my curl pattern. So it, it was really, it was a really good decision not to remove the color, but just to be yeah. patient. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Oh, yeah. Even in hair color. Great right, Alexis? Oh, yeah. Try me. <laughs> I'm the least patient person we all know. You're getting better. You're getting better. No, I'm not. I'm doing terrible. I have, must have colored my hair like 20 times in this whole time that we've been home. <laughs> Highlighted, toned it, colored my root again. <laughs> Didn't want to be doing that. Cut bangs, fix my bangs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I cut, don't bangs. Touch anything. I, cut, I cut my bangs. They look yeah. beautiful. All right. Any more questions? Oh, Patty. I can read this one. I dyed my hair blonde, but need a serious haircut after quarantine. Do I get my hair cut first and then dye it or dye it first? It's a good question. I my thought is if you're going to change your whole hairstyle and you're going to get a whole new hairstyle, I would cut it first and color the cut instead mm -hmm. of cut your color. Does that make sense? Agreed. Because definitely. if you want a long bang or something different, you can then accentuate, put a highlight in it to accentuate the new shape of your haircut. That's, mm -hmm. that's how I would go. How about you guys? Because you guys style hair. I do not. <laughs> oh, I agree too. I mean, I think that's even when like when you go into a salon, usually if you're making that huge change, you first get your hair cut and then right out of you get out of the chair, they send you up to get your color. And then after your color, you'll come back down to get it styled yeah. and finished. I think it's just smarter I, I way agree. Of doing it. I totally but if you're getting like a little trim, like Keep the same, just a little trim, and the style stays the same. It could be either way. Yeah. Okay. I just hope that it. My only takeaway with that, when she says blonder, that she's not using a bleach because if it's a bleach for me, it would be to maintain the touch up. But I think for her, she's trying to change her look, girls. I agree. She should get the shape put in, and then be able to maintain her hair color after that, and be able to put herself back on that hair regimen. Yeah. So she can be yeah. Around upkeep this new look after uh this whole COVID-19 situation and you yeah and you also want to see like, what hairstyle you're getting like if you are getting blonde and if you're getting highlights like if you're getting this great new haircut you want to either put a highlight like a like a, your money piece like somewhere differently maybe across your face this way maybe if you're getting a bang now or you're getting a side bang or you're getting pieces you want to really accentuate your haircut with your new color this is a good opportunity to Coming from a time when we've stayed at home, you could reinvent your your whole self. You know, you could you could go back to work or return to the office, a whole new person. I'm I'm ready to cut the, my hair. What do you think? Not yourself. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have any more questions? I am a brunette and my ends get super light and faded in the summer. Should I just re dye the ends to match? Color <laughs> Reviver. Yes. That's a good one. Color yep. Reviver. You don't necessarily, I mean, if you just touch your roots up and your, your ends are lightening up from the sun two weeks later, you don't want to recolor your hair all over again. You don't want to necessarily pull that color back through those ends. So Color Reviver is super amazing. It's going to um, add a richness, a vibrancy back into your color, but it's also going to keep your hair nice and shiny and nice and healthy. So yeah, we yeah, have healthy. A, healthy is the key here. So we have a, a you know a pretty good range of shades. 
Um, and the color, and I believe it's the cool brunette. Is that the shade name? We have a we have warm brunette. We have a vibrant red, vibrant copper, golden blonde, and a cool blonde. We're, we're gonna at the end of the year we'll have the cool brunette and the black. Ah, uh, oops, zip my lips. But they are. <laughs> it makes your hair feel amazing. It's like, like a hair I'm mask. My hair, and then I'm like, oh no, I don't want to cut my hair. It feels too good. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a mask. You do it in the shower, five minutes. It leaves your hair just like super silky. It doesn't stain your shower. It doesn't stain your hands. So it's Where like really easy now. to do. But it's you get a lot of um, payoff with that. So I actually use it in five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Yep. And I actually I use the rich one. I like it. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. Who wants to read this one? I went to the salon and asked for W4, which is dark brown. She left it in way too long and my hair is black. Oh. Uh, and with an emoji. I've been using this purple <laughs> shampoo to try to get it out, but can I use anything else to help tone down the black? Hmm. I like purple. this. This is what we're here for, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a bummer. Yeah. A really big bummer. A bummer. Oh, that sucks. So I'm not sure why a purple shampoo. Yeah. I think uh, a shampoo that is not color safe, because to encourage it to fade some, uh, that's what I would do. That's the most conservative way to go. Yeah. Um, go outside and garden. You know, be outside. That will encourage it to fade, too. Anybody else have any... I say definitely use a clarifying cleansing, shampoo, yeah. like something cleansing, like some, you know, and, and when you use a clarifying shampoo, make sure you follow up with like a moisturizing conditioner or even maybe a mask once a week. But I mean, you want to just be able to fade that color out and eventually it's going to fade out. It's not going to stay that deep the whole time, but especially mm -hmm. like when you're coming out of it and you're feeling like it's very deep, go home and like use a clarifying shampoo, something that's not like Patty said, color safe. So. Make sure you follow it up with a good conditioner, though, because it's because it's yeah. clarifying so and extra cleansing. You want to pay back your hair too with a little bit of love afterwards. You know, even if you're doing it a couple of times, two, three times a week, still put the conditioner in afterwards. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what what we think, right, girls? Because if she's telling you she feels that her hair is black, even though she said they use W four, yeah. it could be a really, really dark brown. But it doesn't matter how we feel; it matters how she feels. So we're just hoping that it's just a really, really dark brown, even though she perceives it to be black. Because in in hopes is that it's going to lighten a little bit more with yeah. the suggestion of using a clarifying shampoo and just a little bit of a conditioner. And my last advice would be. Maybe your next application, do not run it through your ends. Whatever you do, just do your regrowth to be able to maintain yeah. that. Readjust your color back to the brown that you were at and see what your ends look like in another five to six weeks when you go back or when you decide to do your hair color at home. So yeah. all the best with that. I know that happens a lot and it's, it's, a good, it's a good comment to be able to use the clarifying shampoo. I think that's a big winner because we tend to want to maybe use something more aggressive. And I think that's not always the answer. It brings a little bit more problems. Sometimes. I would agree. Patience again, also. Patience. <laughs> yes. Patience. And we're really I mean, sorry that that happened. <laughs> that was me. I, I did mine on purpose. I wanted mine black, but then I wanted dark brown. So it was me. And my biggest thing was just to have patience. And yeah. um, the cleansing shampoo actually really does work. And you maybe want to shampoo more often than you normally would, but then the key is yeah, like yeah. everyone's saying is to put that moisture back in with your conditioners or your masks. Yeah, and also the purple shampoo, right? I don't I don't really think you necessarily need a purple shampoo. Yeah, no. I don't take but that out. Also, if the ends are where it's dark, wash it here where where it's too dark. If this looks good, then don't wash it too with the clarifying shampoo up here as much as more down here. True, Patty. Yeah. 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 Say it again, Alexis. I said good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's next? <gasps> Ooh, I've got the best hair color for gray coverage. So, 
Uh, Patty wants that one. <laughs> I want this one because I can totally relate. So their Nutrice Nourishing Cream, amazing um, assortment of shades, gives you 100% gray coverage. It's great, it's permanent, it covers the gray. If you are looking for, um, you have very resistant, super stubborn, like the worst white hairs ever, we also have Ultra Coverage, not just coverage, has a silver band on the front of the pack. That comes, I think there's 12 shades. Most of them are what we call basic shades or like browns and blondes. They have a couple of golden shades and then they have two red shades, two, a dark red shade and like a medium red shade. That is, that's formulated with Cover Plus technology, what, which gives you incredible dense covering. You never ever know anything's white underneath that. The third option is Olea, which is the oil delivery system hair color made with 60% oils. Smells amazing, is an ammonia free formula, but also gives you 100% great coverage, which before it was launched in the consumer products division, no one believed that you could be 100% great coverage with um, an ammonia free formula. But this is amazing. It smells great, it's easy to, to spread, it doesn't <laughs> drip. Um, it's inspired from the salon. Uh, so that is, those are your three options. It just depends on how how big you want to choose from, or if you have resistant, really resistant gray hair, or if you want a formula with no ammonia. You've got, we've got you covered. We've got choices. You covered it all. <laughs> you did. Check. <laughs> oh, Mariana, that's you. I want to try a funky color in quarantine. I've been doing temp colors and had a lot of fun. I want to try permanent. Can I go back if I don't like it? And if it's a bad to color my hair twice within two months. Wow, okay. I think funky colors during quarantine is great. Everybody's trying to express themselves. I think going into a permanent color is an option girls for maybe and see what your girls think for a little bit more wear. Maybe her color's fading a lot more than she anticipated and she wants it to last a little longer. I think it depends on what the shades are. I really like some of the new Olea Bolds that just came out. I like the 720, which is a smoky quartz, I believe, Patty. Say it one more time, Mariano. It's, I'm having technical difficulty. It's okay. I think it's a 720. I think it's like a smoky quartz. Uh, that's the 822. The 720 is a dark quartz. It's still it's a little darker, but is a has a pink quality to it. Thank you. I like that one. And there's a 512 as well, which I believe is an amethyst. Oh, it's so, so great. There's That's a couple beautiful. of options for that. I think that will last longer. And it's the opposite of both. And I'll let you guys add a, a chime in a little bit. Permanent's going to stay on for your hair a little longer. That's why it's called permanent. So I don't know if I would advise coloring your hair twice unless it's every five to six weeks like we like to suggest. What do you girls think? Well, also to piggyback what Patty said before, don't forget when you when you do your hair and you're like, oh, okay, I did this crazy gorgeous color, and you're and you 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 put it on, and you're like, oof, bad color. Don't forget, in like two weeks, you can't be like, oh, I want to go to this lighter color. No, that's not going to work. You have to basically sort of like what what you have, you got to sort of stick with it, and you have to. And even it may be in the same color family. Maybe if you want to change from your reds, it may be a little bit easier. But let's just say you, you have a red and then you dye it like a deeper shade, one of our deeper olea shades. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, you know what? But I want to go to this, you like Patty said, smoky quartz. That's not going to work. So my, my idea, whenever I think of like pretty colors or crazy colors or these fun colors, is to try a temporary first and to see how you like it, how it wears on you, how it mixes with your skin tone. Like if you're like totally for it, then if you fall in love with it, go permanent. But my whole thing is stay temporary first. Test, test, like test the waters out a little bit. It's almost like trying a new lipstick on. Like when you try a new lipstick on, if you don't like it, you can wipe it off. Set, same thing with like, you know, something temporary. If you don't like it, don't worry. It comes right out. Like especially if you, it's like a wash off, like a hair makeup type. 
But if you're doing permanent, that's not coming off. Like, you know, so you gotta, you have to live with that. Another option is to maybe just do some pieces on the bottom. So you haven't yeah. committed your whole head to something that you're thinking, oh, why did I do this? Um, but then if you decide, oh, I really love it, and it's close to your skin or close to your face, then you, if you're ready to jump into the deep end of the pool, you already have a preview of what it is. So, I mean, we don't have the luxury right now to go hang out and try wigs on or try extensions. Yeah. We don't have the opportunity. But if if it was all open, that might be my first thing. Go try, you know, try to put like hot pink or whatever your desire is next to your skin. Does it work? The best part about the hair color is, or about hair color at all, is that we don't try to box you into a limit. You can express yourself any way you want with hair color. So you could have reds with different reds. You can have browns with different you could be blonde with pink. Pink, it's okay. Or or some of the ultra color shades, there's blues, there's greens, there's pinks. The Olea Bold's amazing. So we're not trying to stomp on anybody's creativity at all. But we but permanent color is permanent color at the end of the day. I was gonna say just do a strand test and like patty said maybe you start with some on the bottom if you don't even want to go that far you could just do a strand test in the back just one like enough that you could see the color but just one strand in the back and then that way you can see what it looks like before you get too creative and have done the whole head and you're like oh my god this is really not what yeah, i want to do so all right next question I just got highlights for the summer and don't want them to fade. What can I do to extend the color life? Well, highlights, I mean, they just have a tendency to get lighter. Um, but there are some things that you could do if you're going to be out in the sun. If you're going to be, I mean, I think the beaches are open in a lot of places now. So if you're going to be on the beach, I always um, tell people that just take a little conditioner and put it in your hair so that it, the direct sunlight is not like, you know, causing that to lighten up if you kind of um, use the conditioner as a barrier. Also, the same with going in the swimming pool because swimming in the swimming pool could actually lighten your highlights too. Um, so maybe um, take a little bit of water and spray it in your hair and then add a little bit of the conditioner. Because it kind of what I love about fun. that is that it's like you're, you're baking the conditioner deep into the hair. So at, even you're not thinking, you know, as you're getting tanner at the beach, you're also conditioning your hair, yeah. you know, like yeah. having a deep conditioner. So it's, it's a win-win, right? But yeah, wear your like a, somewhat of a UV protecting, UVA, UVB protectant. Um, I like that idea. Um, and then I'll let Mariano or Alexis chime in with some other ideas. I don't want to give them all away. Your color revivers. You can yeah. always like upkeep that. I mean that that that's like awesome. Like it's like it's like what it's meant for. Like you're like oh no, it's fading, but you just need a little bit like to boost them back and bring them back to life. Your color revivers, those are awesome. Especially the cool blonde. If you feel like they're getting too brassy, that cool blonde is like a lifesaver. I think it's cool blonde is amazing. Uh, I was gonna say, or if they feel like they got too light, too white, you use the golden blonde, which kind of makes them that slightly richer, adds a little bit of tone. Sorry, Mariano. No, no, I love it. You know, I love all these little nuggets that we're sharing because for us, it's all about being able to educate. And I think the cool blonde is going to be everybody's, every girl's best friend. The idea that it comes in a tube, you can get multi-uses out of it, five minutes in the shower, and you're going to be able to get that conditioning feel for it and be able to control the brassiness and your highlights, which happens in the summer, Kat, to, to your point that, you know, hair just tends to get lighter. I think it's going to be her best friend. So that's a great opportunity for her to try something new and go on Garnier USA and check it out also. Yeah, it's great. I might even go blonde so I can use the cool <laughs> blonde <laughs> color diver. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh. I have some gray coming in, coming on the front of my head. So when I color my hair, which is a medium blonde, 
It comes out two different shades. Please help. Again, we've got you covered. Mm -hmm. So we we have one of our best friends is Julia. <laughs> and she has in the front of her hair, she has sparkles. Sparkles. sparkles, right. And we, <laughs> as her employees, have given her all of those sparkles. <laughs> and we love you. We love what you do for us. You are our advocate. You are our cheerleader. We love you. We're sorry we give you sparkles. I haven't given her many sparkles because I'm the newest on the team. <laughs> Oh, just rub it okay. in. <laughs> but so she has these sparkles around the front. And then in the back, she doesn't have very many sparkles at all. So what we do is we've figured out how to cover the gray, but make it look like a highlight. So around the front, we use, um, I think she uses Nutrice 80. Uh, yeah. Is it 83? 83. It's 83, yeah. right. So she yeah. uses like a golden blonde in the front where the sparkles are. And then behind, she uses a natural eight. I think a natural eight, right, guys? Yes. And what that does is that will warm up her natural color enough, lighten and natural, warm up her natural color enough, but not let it get too brassy or too yellow. And then the golden on the sparkles it's enough gold will the gray will absorb enough of the gold that it creates this transition from a lighter more delicate blonde on the sparkles to a very beautiful soft blonde soft golden blonde in the back so everyone's like oh my gosh you you put highlights your team does highlights on you she's like no no it's just all it's giving color. me natural <laughs> highlights yeah but so that is the best part is when you have like uh, sparkles or gray hair where it is mostly or there's an area that's predominant you can use a different formula on that area and then the, around the rest you can use a different formula and it will create a harmony it also creates kind of like a, a standout piece like in her front when she gets her hair blown dry it looks like she has this incredible highlights all along her front so you can you can it's an extra to buy a second box, but it's better to have enough to get your job done. But it is a great way to create um, your own personalized look with hair color that you can get just off the shelf. You don't have to go to a stylist to have it done professionally. You can create it yourself. There is, um, so we have, we're part of the hair color hotline crew and so we've been helping people color their hair at home and advising while they're coloring so i helped my really good friend jennifer color and that's exactly what we did with her we used 73 in the front and then 70 in the back so if you guys want to jump on to the igtv mm -hmm. at garnier then you can check out how to do that um exactly how patty mm -hmm. said but that way you get yeah. Yeah. in action we have, and that is a great encyclopedia of products that we've done. I don't know how many, I think we've launched like seven or eight videos and they're from just how to do your own hair color to, oh, I have gray in the front. What do I do with long hair? Um, how to put tint highlights back. in a tint back, which is how to go back. Like I was blonde and now I want to go back to my natural color. Mm -hmm. So we work with we're doing it all virtually. So we're working with someone in the, the privacy of their own home, but we are virtually there. Um, and we're instructing them how to do it. So we've done, I think seven or eight, we actually, one just came out today. It was with Kelly where we, we oh, yeah. did balayage on her hair. So that was a lot of fun. So tune into it because there's a lot of really great information. We've all four of us and, and Julia as well has have helped do these tutorials because there's a lot of people that need help and also they're not going to go to a salon or they can't get into the salon because of you know the restrictions right now but take a look there's a, a t oh oh what's going to come out you guys we bleached somebody's hair that's coming out too we've got guys uh, we are fun we are equal yeah. opportunity here <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any more questions? Mm. Ah, what do you recommend to straighten and thicken your hair? 
and get it to grow faster. I'm 54. I try to keep my wisdom highlights covered. Ah, wisdom highlights. That's oh, another good one. That's a new yeah. one. My natural color is dark brown, but thinking going to platinum to disguise silver. Mm. What do you okay. guys think? I feel like there's three things in that question. There is. Yeah. One, to it's get a your hair question. grow faster. The, I'll do the grow faster part. Uh, we have Grow Strong, uh, which is a great uh, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, is it Grow Strong? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a conditioner, a shampoo and conditioner bundle, which is great. It helps uh, maintain a healthy scalp, encourages your, your hair to grow, um, conditions your health. You have to, no matter if you're growing your hair out or not, you have to get some kind of trim and take care of the ends here you have to have a good diet reduce the amount of stress a moderate amount of alcohol and your diet has to just be balanced and i think that that part helps encourage growth and get some good exercise too because your hair is just an extension of your body so what you put into it will actually you know it shows through your hair and your skin and your nails. So, but Grow Strong is a great shampoo for you. But if you decide to color your hair or make it all silver, then make sure whatever you're using, I would recommend the Fructis Color Shield, which is for color treated hair. So you can alternate those two, but I'm gonna pass along to the next question to somebody else. I would just piggyback off of you, what you said um, with the conditioner, the Grow Strong. Um, it's always good to do like a nice scalp massage because you get the circuit, the blood circulation going and that actually helps the hair to grow as well. Yep. Passing it to Alexis. <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> okay. Um, I always talk about vitamins. I'm a big vitamin girl. So check out some more vitamins. Sometimes biotin can be great for growing your hair as well. Mariana. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if I understood her last question correctly. I think she wants to bleach her hair out so it looks silver. Mm -hmm. just that was my that just, was my interpretation. Just, just 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 thank you, girls. Just grow it out. I, I think that you know, let's just I think your first question was your integrity over your hair. There's some great suggestion from vitamins to hair care. Stick to that for three to five months, see what the change is gonna be like in, in your diet and your hair. And by then I promise you those wisdom whites <laughs> wisdom highlights. <laughs> wisdom highlights will just start to look a little bit more defined and start to look more of like a side bang. Because if you give yourself three to four months, that's a couple of inches of grow out. And I think you're 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 easily more likely to have it grow out and um, less damage to your hair. And I think that will just solve a lot of um, hiccups. I think it's also a <laughs> big uh, commitment to lighten your hair, to make it silver, and also maintain the silver. And is it going to stay silver? It's a, a big maintenance. I tried it for a little while, and you can see I don't do it anymore. So, um, try it if you want, but it but to try to strip out all the color is going to be very stressful for your hair. Especially I think if you're we dark have, brown. Yeah. I, yeah, we have one more question before we're going to sign off. So let's see. How do you keep your hair color from turning brassy or too red? Uh Mariano, what do you think? Sorry, say the question again. <laughs> How do you keep your hair from turning brassy or too red? I think I think oh. I think every brunette sees red in their hair, right? So it depends. Like if you're using light brown and you feel like your hair is uh, getting brassy, in my opinion, or too red, maybe going down a deeper level so that it's like a medium, yummy, nutritious brown. And then run it through your ends every time you do your hair color. That'll help neutralize your color and keep it that rich coffee brown. I think that girls want to have right now. That's that's one of my thoughts that I think would be great. What do you think, girls? If you're talking well, about brown, also I didn't see that. But if 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 they aren't talking, did they say brown too? Because maybe they're <laughs> if they had lighter. I don't think it was no, specific. they didn't say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. scenario touched on brown. I'm going to touch on if you're blonde Long. and you feel like it's turning brassy, you know, your color reviver again, your cool blonde, that'll def that'll do the trick. 
It's yeah. like purple shampoo on steroids. <laughs> I think it's awesome. It's funny. It does the trick and makes your hair super conditioned. It's all it will tone it and be beautiful. We have a really good video on that too. I'm not sure is that on um the stories highlights, I think it is, where we have our Garnier girl. She's using this in the shower and it's amazing. You get it's a good before and after. So that'll give you some, you know, insight into how it actually really works. I think if you're, if you're talking about a blonde that might be too brassy or too red, I would agree with Mariana's point of just dropping whatever shade you're using one one drop, uh, one level, level lower, and making sure that you're using something that has ash in the formula that says cool, champagne, um, icy, any words that denote something cool or cold, that's going to help you control any kind of unwanted warmth. If you're using just a basic shade, like a 70 or an 80, there's not enough cooling effect in that formula to cover or mask any unwanted warmth. So I think that that part is you really look at it, but don't ash ash right now for this question is an amazing tool. So don't be afraid of it. It's not going to make your hair green. It's not going to make your hair gray. What it's going to do is it's going to cut the fire that you see as brassy or red and bring it back into the middle and, and be more neutral. So that part, I think, if you're talking in the blonde family, and then if, yes, for sure, the color reviver, the cool cool blonde color, it's, it's delicious. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's so good. So. I think, guys, I think that was our last question. I think they're going to cut us off. Okay. Um, but so great to see you guys live. Yes. And um, I think we know some stuff, huh? I don't think we got stumped. No. I don't think we did Not either. This time. No. But, but they need to be harder questions. questions. Yeah, we do. We need harder questions. Okay. Yeah. This We're is a hard group to stump, especially Should with we Patty. We should yeah. do um Patty stumps um, us. We don't stump Patty. <laughs> stump the pros number two. Session two is what we're looking for. But thanks for tuning in, guys. This was fun. Uh some really good questions. I hope that you guys got some good information from us. Um, and we're happy to help and tune into the hair color hotline. It's it's a blast. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Yes. Bye. 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 That was really